leaving for every body that's in the room. So if you're speaking to a room of 50 people, half of those people would buy a book from you. So if you're speaking to a room of 300 people, 150 of those people would buy a book from you. So at every speaking engagement that you have 300 people at, you're leaving $1,500 right there on the table. a little bit about what kind of money and even impact is the average speaker leaving on the table if they don't have a book? I would say you're leaving for every body that's in the room. So if you're speaking to a room of 50 people, half of those people would buy a book from you. So if you're speaking to a room of 300 people, 150 of those people would buy a book from you. If you're selling that book directly to them, as you should be as a speaker, you're going to be making about $10 a book. So at every speaking engagement that you have 300 people at, you're leaving $1,500 right there on the table. And that's just for the one book, right? That doesn't include if you have a journal to go with the book or whatever other extra materials you may have. You're leaving it all on the table. Um, I've seen speakers speak that don't even have a, a sign-in list or a check. Like, they're not even collecting emails. They're leaving money on the table. I would say about 50% of the room usually buys um, at least one book. If you have multiple books, you're going to sell half of that again in multiple books. Um, that's pretty much been the proven case for myself. Um, I have over 10 books. Four of those are business books, so it's a completely different audience from the others. Um, but depending, and two are author books, so it depends on my audience that I'm speaking to. But when I'm speaking to Christian authors, I'm selling the six of my books to all, and, and they're going, you know? And there's their series, and so they're buying two at a time. But it's really that simple. Oh,